My goal is to have you click off this video and feel more confident than ever that you are gonna get some compliments from some of these fragrances. Maybe you have a decent little winter collection built up, but they're not really providing any results for you. That can happen because a lot of times when it comes to wintertime scents, sweeter, heavier things, you don't always have that, that same type of mass appeal as you do with generally most of your summertime scents. You know, just about anyone's gonna love a nice, freshy, aquatic blue fragrance, right? And those are gonna work really well. When you get into wintertime, it can be a little bit more tough. Maybe some of the things that you're choosing and wearing just aren't resonating with people in the same type of way. And so this video is gonna help you out. I've got 15 winter fragrances that are almost guaranteed to get you some amazing compliments. So I will provide links to these down below to discounters as well, so you can pick some of these up if you want. Now pay attention, there's gonna be a few in here that you don't normally see. I'm trying to switch it up and give you guys some new options. With that always comes risk, right? People ask, oh, why, why do you talk about the same fragrances all the time? Well, that's because I'm talking about the things that work right now. However, like I said, I dug into the corners and picked up some things that still work really well but aren't in the mainstream. So if you want something interesting and a little bit different, make sure you stay tuned. We'll get things kicked off with a very obvious one, one that is kind of starting to pick up steam a little bit more, it's Eros Parfum. So Eros has already been through its heyday, right? The Eau de Toilette, very popular, but the Parfum is reimagining that DNA. It's bringing it back to life with a modern twist. It's also stronger than the Eau de Toilette, which has been reformulated over the years. So you get a true parfum concentration with strong scent trail and kind of uh, room filling abilities there just from the hang time. And you're also getting great longevity. This DNA is tested and proven to work and this will not let you down. That mint, amber, tonka bean, apple combination is killer and it works every time. Going with the cheapie up next, we have Halloween Man X. Now, because we have 15, I am gonna be running through these a little bit quicker than maybe I usually would. However, I've covered a lot of these in depth on the channel already, so you can go searching around and find some more info. But this one has whiskey, it has tonka bean, and even a little bit of a roasted coffee accord in here. Very sweet, boozy, with a nice, kind of youthful, modern, and playful type of smell about it. You know, this is nothing mature. This is very easy going and laid back and, and just, just easy to approach. You know, this is the type of thing that just smells so good. People wouldn't feel intimidated to come up and ask you what you're wearing because this is very forthcoming. You know, real nice, easy to wear, cheapy wintertime scent. This one's right around, I think, $50, $55, Ferragamo Womo. Now this one has sweet notes, it's got tonka bean, a little bit of ambroxan, there's cardamom in here, and it kind of gets compared to a tiramisu dessert. Ultimately though, regardless of what type of dessert it gets compared to, because I've heard some people say it smells nothing like that, it does very much have, to me, kind of a, a chocolatey, almost even coffee accord about this one, and very much a dessert gourmand scent. And again, this is very sweet. When they have sweet notes listed in the note breakdown, you know it's the real deal. So you gotta make sure you know what you're getting yourself into here. That being said, for whatever reason, fragrances like this absolutely kill it in the compliment department. You go look at a lot of reviews and you'll see people are getting great results from this one. And at this price point, you get great performance, you get great quality as well. It is something unique and definitely a must have. Up next, we have my little baby bottle of Azaro, the most wanted, just the original one here. Now this one has toffee, it's got cardamom and even a little bit of amber wood. So again, another gourmand, but in a different way. The toffee in here really does come across nice. And with those other notes, you do get a pretty standardized vanilla and tonka bean addition as well. Those two go hand in hand in a lot of fragrances in this category. However, Azara wanted to get a little bit tricky with us these past few releases and they only give us three notes, but rest assured there is much more going on. Now this one doesn't have any of the cinnamon or tobacco like the mo or, uh, Wanted by Night does, so there are some differences there. Also doesn't have any of the fruity notes either. Much more sweet, much more gourmand, and just a different way, and I really like it. And this is another one that has great success. And I guess if you wanted to compare it to something, you could compare it to like maybe the original Stronger With You by Emporio Armani in that similar vein, just a compliment beast. Moving along, we have Paco Rabanne One Million Elixir. You know, love or hate the brand, one thing that we can all say with confidence is that they have mastered marketing and they have also mastered 
mass appeal. Marketing, they have it covered with the One Millions and Invictus and so on, right? They they're just are geniuses when it comes to that. And then with the mass appeal, look at just the bulk majority of their fragrances. You look at a lot of top 10 most complimented lists, you're gonna see the Invictus flankers, you're gonna see the One Million flankers and everything else in between. They know what they're doing and this is no exception either. This one does have the vanilla tonka bean combination in here, very standard. A little bit of a floral kind of bright aspect out of this one as well. Ultimately, it's a sweet compliment beast with great performance. It's very loud. It is not holding back. This is going to be for the younger guys out there who want to make a statement. Up next, one of my favorite iris fragrances on the market, Gentleman Eau de Parfum, the original here. Now, this one has, of course, iris. It has some vanilla, some black pepper, some um, kind of, uh, I think, tofu balsam in here or something along those lines. Ultimately, you are getting a little bit of a chocolatey creaminess, uh, a nice um, kind of sweet iris, a little bit dusty powdery, and then a bit of a black pepper spice off the top. Smells really, really nice. And again, this kind of fits in with Dior, Ohm Intense, and Valentino Womo Intense. That's kind of the sweet iris trio. And of the three, this is gonna get you pound for pound the most compliments because it's gonna be the most mass pleasing and it leans heavily on the vanilla rather than something like the Dior leaning solely mostly on the iris with some of that chocolatiness and then the Valentino kind of leans on the iris and leather. So this one's gonna give you all around your best chances for the most compliments. However, those other two would work great as well. I just think this one's gonna be the most safe. Bulgari Man in Black up next. So this is kind of filling the void of Spice Bomb in this video. So no Spice Bomb Extreme, no anything Spice Bomb. However, this one here does have the tobacco and the spices, literally, according to the notes. And what this does differently is it's incorporating more leather and rum. So think of this as a boozy, leathery Spice Bomb. Think of Spice Bomb as a guy in his 20s. Think of Man in Black as a guy in his uh, you know, mid 30s, mid late 30s, grown up, successful, has a career, has a wife and kids, has a, a Tesla or, or whatever fancy car of your choice that you want to imagine in your head. I actually wouldn't choose Tesla. I don't know why I said that, but he might have a Tesla. There's nothing wrong with electric, right? But that's what he has and that's what he's wearing. It's going to be someone who's much more grown up and mature than he originally was. Now, not to say that Spice Bomb is a bad scent. I love it. I love Spice Bomb Extreme as well. But this one with that rum and the leather is really a nice touch and it's still a big compliment getter. Let's go back to another cheapie with Carl Lagerfeld Bois d'Ambre. So this one has basically amber and clary sage are the two primary notes I get. So sweet, sticky, smooth amber and then the clary sage kind of giving off a little bit of an aromatic assist. Smells really nice and pleasant. Gets compared a little bit to Dolce & Gabbana The One. I think that's stretching it a little bit because I'm not getting the same type of tobacco delivery in here and, and the woods aren't coming together the same way. However, I guess in a roundabout way, the type of amber being used here could be similar to that of Dolce & Gabbana The One. The point is, I think this one should stand on its own as being a really nice affordable amber scent that has great mass appeal and smells great in the winter time. Let's get a little bit of clone action going on with one of the most impressive clones I've smelled within the past couple years, Al Haramain's Detour Noir. I gotta tell you guys, and I've said it before already, so I'll keep it very brief, but this is just hands down impressive and incredible. So, so close to Parfums de Marley Layton to the point where it even does have a little bit of that kind of menthol kick off the top that you get from Layton and you can feel it in your nose, just down to just about every single nuance. They pretty much have this one dead on, about as close as you can possibly get. And that is crazy given this is $35 and Layton is usually around 200 or more at discounters. Let's keep it moving with Carolina Herrera 212 Sexy for Men. So this one here, interesting name, but whatever. It's got vanilla, guyac wood, some black pepper in here as well. And it's just a nice, mass-pleasing, sweet scent. Definitely any, not anything that's going to wow you, nothing that's gonna impress you to the greatest extent, but something that does do the job really well. And this is the type of thing that most guys would walk into a department store, pick up, smell, think, hey, this is gonna work. They hit the door and they go home and, and they wear it and they love it and they wear it out and they get compliments. This is just the type of thing that's supposed to be foolproof and that's what it is. One thing I wanna point out, it's a tester and it does still come with a nice magnetic cap. 
Moogler Ultimate or Moogler Angel Man Ultimate, however you want to uh, name this one, I suppose. Uh, this line is dying. It's very sad. Really, all that's left is this. Uh, even the original is getting very hard to find on discounters. I believe on retailers it's sold out. That's a bummer. Pure Malt, Pure Havan, Crypto Mint, um, Ultra Zest, all of those greats, they've been long gone. So it really is sad to see, guys. I got to say, that's a bummer. But you can still get this one. And please, please, please do not wait to the last minute because that would probably be the dumbest thing that you could do. And I know people are going to do it. It's fine. It's human nature to be slackers. But you can get this for like 50 to $60 right now. I promise you in a few years, this is going to be 150, 160, 200 plus. Please do yourself a favor. Go get yourself a bottle right now. It's all about the cappuccino and balsam fir. Nice, creamy, smooth, milky coffee scent. It smells amazing. Super easy to wear. Great compliments. Going back over to another cheapie here, we have Mont Blanc Emblem. Absolute, it's kind of funky looking bottle here. Definitely has a little bit of a, a fancy look to it, even though, again, this is a cheapie. Now, this one's interesting. It's got fruity notes, honey, pear, and cardamom, among many other accords as well. It's not going to be your typical note breakdown, not going to be your typical smelling scent. I mean, it's not super unique. This isn't niche or anything like that. However, it's impressive. It's nice for the price. It's ultimately a very sweet compliment polar with great performance, great price. I'm trying to see uh, 100 mil. It is an Oda 12 lep, but you still get good performance out of it. And ultimately, just a nice, easy one to pull off that works great. Okay, so next up, we have a niche product here. However, this is right now, it's designer priced on discounters. Carner Barcelona Elborn, 100 mil, 88 bucks. Now this retails for like 170, 180, and it's sold out, and other discounters have it for 140. 88 dollars, this is by far the cheapest I've ever seen this, and I recommend you get this one at this price if you're interested. This has vanilla, it's got uh, Peru balsam in here, a lot of amber going on. This is a boozy vanilla, and there's no boozy notes listed, no rum, no nothing like that, but from the very beginning, I've literally described it as a boozy vanilla scent. That that balsam in here really gives it this creaminess and this gourmand smell. The benzoin is adding a little bit of a dust to it, a little bit of a powdery nature. One of my all-time favorite vanillas, you can go way back on my channel and look and see me talking about this one. There's just something about it that absolutely works. It smells delicious. It's addicting. It's sexy. This is next level. I love the look of this bottle, Versace Pour Homme Oud Noir. Now, I do really like the original Versace Pour Homme bottle as well, and Dylan Blue. I, I like them all. You know, Versace Pour Homme, just seeing that original one, uh, that was kind of when I first started collecting. I remember seeing that bottle all over the place, and even back then, I'm like, man, that is a classy looking bottle. Still to this day, I think these bottles look incredible, and these are essentially kind of a value line product. Now, Oud Noir is actually a little bit more expensive. I think $70 full prez into the 60s for testers with a cap. Personally, that's the way to go. And that's the way I went. I'll show you. I forgot. But this is a tester as well. You can see up at the top. And I do believe they give you notes. Yeah, it's eau de parfum, note breakdown. And again, it comes with a cap. That's the way to go. Save yourself some money. And you can get it for a, a little bit of a better price. Dylan Blue, Pour Homme, those are in the $45, $50 range. Ultimately, though, great fragrances for the price. This one's going to be the most winter appropriate. It's got ooh with some saffron, some other woods going on. Very classy, very gentlemanly, very sophisticated, and a nice, easy-to-wear compliment polar that just smells super upscale. And we're going to end this video on Mont Blanc Legend Night. Also a tester, as you can see by the sticker on the back. Did come with the cap, does say tester. So I got a cheat sheet here. We have bergamot, we have vetiver, we have vanilla, patchouli, and uh, sage. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wrote down on my notes too. And that's really what you get out of it. It's basically just, as you would probably imagine, a nighttime version of the original legend. So you're still getting some of that freshness and that muskiness and that sort of thing. Very much a classic style scent. But then they're throwing in some sweet notes and a little bit of like a fruitiness even as well. It's nothing that's going to blow you away. However, for the price, something that works really well. Alrighty, guys, that's going to do it for me. 15 winter fragrances that are going to get you compliments to the moon. Well, maybe. Like I've said, and I've issued many times this disclaimer that it very much depends on 
how approachable you are in the work environment that you're at, or maybe not even work, but just the environment in which you're in. There's so much that goes into it. And also compliments usually come from people you've spoken to before. Getting unsolicited compliments from complete strangers is quite rare and usually not very likely, but your coworkers, your friends, your family, once they know that you are into this sort of thing and you generally smell good, these are the type of fragrances that's gonna get their attention and they're gonna come up and compliment you and say how good you smell. So that's kind of how it usually works. I do have a mailing list you can sign up to where I post the best fragrance deals on rare, discontinued, hard to find things. I do the same on my community tab, but that does not give notifications. Email does. It'll be the first link down below, completely free. Uh, Luminous Night, uh, Loam Ideal Extreme by Guerlain, Stronger With You Absolutely, Prada Loam Intense, Gentleman Reserve Privé, Below Retail. All of these things I'm rattling off have recently, within the past few weeks, came into stock. And when I get my hands on it and I send it out to you guys, it's usually sold out within an hour, sometimes even 15 minutes. Lanoui de Loam Blue Electrique was another one. It pays to be subscribed to the mailing list. It pays to be subscribed to the channel and you should be watching the community tab. That's it for me though. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.